Hey guys, it's Leo with Dreaming Tree, and in this video we're going to put together our little freebie candy kiss treat box. I just got back from the grocery store, got a bag of some Hershey's Kisses that we're going to put in this little box here. And let's just get started here putting this together. Um, now you can do this with or without the little piece of acetate here. We're going to use it because we don't want the little uh, candies popping out of the window there. So we're gonna get that on there. Now what you wanna do, I'm gonna use a series of dots. And by the way, I kind of pre-folded this already. So make sure you get yours folded and just begin by placing some dots around the perimeter here and then get some around the little hearts too. And all through here. Now, if you don't have acetate, remember that when you buy a cutting mat, it comes with a clear little piece of plastic that does actually cut on your cutting machine. So you can use that. You can cut that if you've got an old one that you're not using it for. Okay, so let's just get that glued into place. Give that a little extra time to dry. Okay. So now we've got a nice, nice little window there. You can kind of see the light hitting it. Okay, next let's just kind of put together um, some of the other pieces to this. There's a cute little ki word kiss on a heart that sits on top of the box and it's made up of these two pieces. What we're gonna do is we're gonna glue them back to back like this. But before we do that, let's kind of pretty this thing up a little bit. And I'm gonna hit the edges of this with a little bit of turquoise. Um, I've got my ink applicator pads. And I just really like these a lot because it gives me the soft look that I'm looking for. You may want yours to be a little more pronounced, but I don't. So I really like this. I really like this one here. And what I'm doing is just kind of grazing the edge very softly, not applying a lot of pressure with my finger, kind of hitting the side, but also just kind of barely grazing the surface of the paper and just kind of working my way around here. And you probably will, once you start to see that the color is not as intense, it wasn't really that intense to begin with, you wanna go ahead and reapply that ink a little bit. Okay, and just kind of gives it a nice soft look. You by all means don't have to take it to this extent. If you wanna just leave it as is, that's totally fine too. It's still gonna look great. I mean, how often, you're not gonna find a, a box like this anywhere at the store. So even if you don't ink it, Still gonna look great and whoever gets it's gonna love it but we're gonna since it's a really quick project I don't mind giving it a little extra love okay so there's one side I'll do, do the other side so again hopefully you kind of get the get the gist of what I'm doing here I know some people are maybe new to inking or if you're an inking veteran you have your own style you have your own method and that's fine I have a feeling that for the most part all of our styles are somewhat similar, but, and you may actually be really, really good at it because you've been doing it for way longer than I have. And maybe you have some tips that you wanna share with me. And if you do, leave a comment either below the Facebook video or the one on YouTube. I'd love to, love to hear how you ink. Or if you have a link to a video of someone that inks. Now I know there's really a ton of different ways to ink. I guess what I'm doing is just more like distressing. So um, speaking of inking, that is something that, or not inking, but coloring with like alcohol pens. I've really been falling in love with that lately and I want to get more into that and maybe add that as an optional part of some of our future projects. Okay, so we've got that ink. That looks really nice. It's probably really subtle on camera. It looks a little more pronounced 
in real life. Um, this nice color here, uh, I think it's just a, I think it's AC cardstock lollipop. I'm gonna hit this with a little bit of red. <clears throat> Using the same pad, just an opposite corner. I'm gonna dab that into my red. And we're gonna hit this little heart with a little bit of red just to kind of give it a little bit more life just around the outside. I would say try to ink around the letters, but I think that would just be that would just be too time consuming and prove really difficult because it's a very small area. So I think that would be more annoying than anything. Just focus on the outside. Give that a little bit of love. And then we'll be ready to put this thing together. It's gonna to be really cute. Okay, so, so yeah, you don't have to actually put Hershey Kisses in this. You can put whatever you want in there, whether it be a little gift or whatever, any types of candies. I actually, when I was there, I saw some Valentine's, um, some Valentine's Reese's Cups. I think they were heart-shaped or something, so I'm gonna include some of those in mine that I'm creating for some of the people that I'm giving these to. But you can use whatever you want, obviously. And the back part here, you can do a little stamp or a little message. You can journal something or write a little note. So I've got a little bit of room for that as well, because there's nothing, um, there's no, the word kiss isn't cut out on both sides, just on one side, so it's kind of cool. And you know, maybe your inking technique is a little more efficient. Uh, maybe you're putting down more ink faster than I am, but I've mentioned this in some of my previous videos. I really enjoy and I like the look of a nice, nice gradient and graduated look where that inking isn't so pr like it, it's you know there's you can't really distinguish where it starts and where it stops it just kind of begins subtly and then ends boldly that is that's my favorite look okay there we go it's like i've mentioned this also before in some of my videos it's almost like and i, I don't wear makeup but um, I've seen makeup videos and, um, you know, depending on the occasion, sometimes it's nice to just throw on makeup so that you can't tell that you're actually wearing makeup. I'm sure you guys have heard that before and I'm not here to say that I know everything about makeup because I don't know anything about makeup, but I have heard that and I do appreciate um, that sort of thing. All right, so what we're gonna do at this point is we're gonna glue these back to back. So I'm putting glue on the, on the opposite side, not the side that I inked on, but the back of that. I'm kind of doing a circle motion here so that I get some of that glue out along that little scalloped edge. And then I'm gonna get some on the inside. I'm gonna lay this flat, grab the other side. Just make sure you don't put glue on this bottom little panel or portion there because we're gonna use that to glue that to the top of the box. So get that perfectly aligned and just push down. Okay, all right, so we've got this sort of mechanism here like that. Okay, now we're gonna glue our little kiss on here. Okay, so go ahead and flip that around and just real thin amounts of glue here. I noticed that sometimes if you get too much glue it does tend to kind of warp and make the paper weird. I like to try to keep that paper nice and crisp. Okay, we're also gonna need some here on the bottom. Try to get it out to the edge so it doesn't come peeling back. And we gotta work kind of quick here. So I'm gonna put this up like this so that I can get that bottom part where it creases aligned properly and laying flat. And then I'm gonna put that down flat and push down, okay? So that should kind of bend together, perfect. All right, now the other side. So if you've got a couple kids, a couple grandkids, or if you wanna make this for a teacher, it's a really fun little project that you can get done in you know, less than an hour. And 
For some reason, when I work on small projects like this, it almost, because it doesn't take a lot of time, it makes me feel like I can be more adventurous and try different techniques and do new things, um, experiment with different things, you know. So just make sure that bottom part is nice and in place. And then what we're also going to do, let me just fold that over. I'm going to keep this like that so that it dries like this. I have here some, um, well, these actually glow in the dark, but this was the closest thing I had as far as pink um, liquid pearls go. Um, I'm going to line the perimeter of this on every single little scallop. I'm going to throw a little dot on there. Okay, so we're just doing little dots. I'm going to try to keep everything nice and consistent. Just get it like right in the middle of each of the scallops. Just create a little drop and then just lift up. And you want to make sure that you give that ample time to dry before you move on. Okay. And it's okay if one or two are a little bit bigger or smaller. I don't think anyone's really going to critique you on the size of your pearls. But this is a lot more fun and a lot easier than trying to put down little rhinestones on everything. And it looks really cool. I think the kids might actually like that since it glows in the dark. Now, because we have this little thing right there, I think that, no, I'm gonna leave this alone and let that set. Let's just put that to the side for now. I'm gonna do the other side as well, but for now, let's go ahead and assemble. Well, before we do that, we have some lips that need assembling. So let's do that. I've got this, uh, this red glitter here, and you know what? This is actually, it has a uh, white core. So I'm just gonna take my red ink pad and I am gonna run that along the edge to hide that white core, just to kind of make it look more uniform. That white might kind of, might stand out a little bit, so let's just hide it, there we go. All right, so we'll flip this over. So we're gonna glue the glitter part to the white part so that the white part shows through the little cutouts. And then we're gonna glue this to our box Gonna fill it up with some treats and make somebody's Valentine's Day special. Okay, I got our glue on there. Let's get the lips in place. Just match it up with the white piece. Put it down initially and then lift it up and kind of nudge it just to make sure that you've got everything perfectly lined up. Okay. All right. Cute. All right, so the lip is gonna go right here. Might as well do this while it's flat. Now you don't wanna put glue here. You just wanna put glue on this section here, okay? So let's do that. Let's just put glue around the lip here like so. Don't go too far out, just stay around the lip. Okay, and just make sure that you're not obstructing the little cutout and just push that down. Should grip nicely for us. Okay. Okay, next step here is going to be connecting these two sides here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put glue on this tab here. You got a nice, this, I love this paper. I think this is by, uh, feels like, crate paper, but uh, I could be wrong. All right, so I'm just gonna run that glue right out to the edge. You can do this flat, let's put that down and then fold this tab over and press. Okay, and then I'm gonna go ahead and flip it so that the edge where we just put our glue is out on the side. And that's gonna ensure that we've got a nice clean seam, looks perfect. And then all that's left to do is just close this in so that whoever gets it can decide which side they want to open it from. So there's our cute box. And then all that's left to do is glue this to the top like so. Whoa, careful. I'm not sure if those, if those dots are 
dry yet, so I want to be careful. But we're just going to put glue on both of these tabs, like so. And just try to get that nice and centered. Don't touch those dots if they're still wet. And just use the tip of the heart, the bottom point, to help you get that aligned. It should be nice and centered with the lip, this the center part of the lip. And then just push down on those sections there and make sure that it gets a good hold. Okay, and there is your cute little box. Stay on top of all things Dreaming Tree and engage with us today. Get the latest news and enter in our giveaways on Facebook. Get inspired by following us on Pinterest. Be the first to see our new product launches on Instagram. Do you prefer Twitter? Yep, we're there too. Watch our beautiful product trailers and assembly tutorials on YouTube. For more information, visit www.3dsvg.com. Live, craft, love, and dream.